I do apologize during this video, I am under the weather. So when it comes to the Paris Prime, it looks very pretty. It's also a very nice uh, sounding bow when you shoot it, its projectile is nice, but I, it is not my go-to option when I compare it to things like the Dread or a form of the Seranos. But its stats are not the worst, it has a 45% uh, crit chance, it has 20% status, which can also be increased by Bissage Ball, which is the special mod Paris Prime can use that is given to you by Father. And it has an average crit multiplier about 2.0. So, as I said, with the pretty average stats when compared to other bows choices, but this one is similar to the Dread with its Incarnon where it shoots out a heat-based projectile. And when also compared to the Dread, the Dread is more crit, this is more status-based. So, let's go ahead and cover those Incarnon evolutions and then cover the builds so we can determine what the best way is to build the Paris Prime. So when it comes to the evolutions, the weapon evolution one gets is where it unlocks its projectile that deals heat damage similar to the Dread, but this one deals impact and heat and not slash and puncture with impact, but it also gives it a one times headshot multiplier. Next up is evolution two. We're given deadly pace and guardians might. Deadly pace gives us plus 20 damage and with sprint speed being higher than 1.2, you get plus 80% fire rate. Guardian's Might gives you plus 20 damage as well, but with Overshields active, you will get an increase in damage of plus 74. When it comes to these two options, pick whichever uh, causes your build to be better, because they both affect a way that is very useful for the bow. But for my build, we will be going with Guardian's uh, Might. Next up is Evolution 3. Evolution 3 unlocks Arden Trigger, Marksman's Focus, and Swift Deliverance. Arden Trigger will give you plus 40% fire rate for 6 seconds on a punch through hit. Marksman Focus will get rid of 30% zoom, and Swift Deliverance will give you plus 60% uh, projectile speed. Ardent Trigger, the fire rate bonus does stack additively with fire mods such as Speed Trigger, Shred, stuff like that. With Evolution 3, I'm going to pick Swift, uh, Swift Deliverance because I want the arrows to be faster and the heat projectile without having to waste a mod slot to increase the projectile speed. Finally, with Evolution 4, we are unlocking Vicious Promise. Elemental Balance and Striking Succession. Vicious Promise gives an increase in crit chance by plus 4% on an undamaged enemy, and it increases your damage multiplier by plus 2 times on undamaged enemies. Enemies that are classified as undamaged are when their health and their shields have not been touched. Elemental Balance just gives us a plus 6% increase through our status chance, and then finally Striking Succession on hit increases our damage by plus 15 for 3 seconds, and this will stack up 4 times. And when the buff time runs out, one stack is lost and the buff duration will reset. But like I said earlier, I see the Paris as a status version of the Dread, so I obviously went with Elemental Balance, so it mixes better with Bissage Ball. Now that we've covered the evolutions and how I see the weapon should be built, why don't we go ahead and cover the builds? When it comes to the builds, I've made two. I've made Viral Slash and Corrosive Heat. For the Corrosive Heat one to work properly, you will need at least two Emerald Archon Shards. But first, let's cover Viral Slash. Viral Slash has Galvanized Chamber, Galvanized Aptitude, Malignant Force, Rhyme Rounds, Vital Sense, Vital Acceleration, Hunter Munitions. When it comes to my Riven, simplest way to change it, just slap on Critical Delay. Open up the Exilus mod slot so you can have Massage Ball. I use Primary Deadhead, but you can use, easily use Longbow Sharp Shot or Primary Merciless. It's up to you. And once again, you can just replace the Riven with Critical Delay. So, how does it fare against enemies? Well, obviously these are 160 uh, corrupted enemies, so how does it fare? Well, that's a nice crit, and it doesn't seem to struggle on the base tier enemies like sh it should. So, what about the Incarnon? Well, it also has no issues. You see, I didn't even need to cast the second shot. The Slash applies and kills them easily. And once again, Slash applies... Or hell, even just the heat alone from the charge shot will kill them. But what about Murmur? Well, with Viral Slash, uh, sadly they are decreased with it, but it still does its job quite well. As you can tell, nothing really struggled to die there unless I missed my shot, like I did with that one. We have another build. Like I said in all my other videos, I'm not the biggest fan of Viral Slash alone. So let's show off my Corrosive Heat build. Like I said though, let's go ahead and cover my Corrosive Heat build. My Corrosive Heat build is basically identical to the Viral Slash one, but instead of using Viral, we're using Corrosive. Viral Acceleration there is for the increase in fire rate because my Riven also has a decrease in fire rate, but that is the only change. You could easily replace this with anything else you need. 
Massage Ball is very useful because it does also give you 300 health. And it's also the reason we're getting 300 status because as soon as you take this off, it doesn't spike as high. So I like it because it makes it increase even higher. So whenever you look at our stats, we're getting good amounts of everything because uh, obviously with over 100, you get more of each. If they don't die, their least armor will be stripped right off their bodies. And obviously Galvanize Zap 2 does take advantage of more statuses being applied. So before we obviously go to Steel Path and test how it is against enemies, I'll be adding on a little friend that I've recently covered on a video and seeing how he benefits us there. Now, how does it fare against the Murmur? Once again, I'm going to break this off. How does it fare? One shots, one shots. Obviously these guys, I still can't, I don't know where the crit is, but I only took two shots. Proc being Cardon, and he died to all the overtime. Dead to the overtime damage. Dead to the overtime damage. And they died after two arrows. So I'm going to slap on my pet and I'll show you what happens whenever there's a ton of statuses being applied. Here we go. We have Recruit here with us with his Akaten on. So he is going to be able to apply a ton of statuses. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Well, 1.7 million right there. 331,000. Really nice. Does a lot of damage. How about the Incarnon? Well, it's going to do about the same thing. It's just going to turn them into mincemeat. As you see, if I don't kill him, he kills them. It hits quite hard, and it does a lot of damage. That's why I say the Paris Prime is the status form of a Dread, but you can still build it to crit. And I will see you guys whenever I go into Steel Path. So here we are in Steel Path. I went ahead and started it, and just started shooting and just killing a couple things. Obviously, we didn't test on shields, but as you see, it has no issues in hell. There's a 3.9 million right there. 7.5 million right there. So as you can tell, it does not struggle dealing damage, although I will struggle with my aim because my aim is poop. Does not help I am sick. But obviously, it doesn't seem to have any issues when it comes to dealing damage. And now the, applying all these statuses does help quite a lot too, because it makes it where I have nothing to worry about when it comes to having to kill things. And if I get low in health, I get a free uh, free heal just by shooting my arrow because I get to restore health on status effects. <laughs> And it just allows me to freely recover or heal my ally just like that and obviously when you're doing missions you're not just using your weapon you're going to use your abilities alongside it so take full advantage of the fact that you can heal yourself and hell i just saw a really high number just then 8.5 million right there and it just seems to keep stacking up 5.5 i think is what that said i think that was a 777 across the board yeah the weapon hits really hard so after a a few more minutes, aka four minutes has passed. I'll give y'all a Acolyte fight. So I'll be back for when that happens. All right, it would appear the uh, Acolyte is spawning a bit early. Mania, good. We don't have the one that gets rid of status effects, which is very good. I'd be really upset if we got that one. Come on, come this way. So as you see, didn't take that long after I got the bubble to stop being a little bit of a nuisance. That's the only downside to my uh, my dog build is that the bubble can get in my way a lot. Obviously, you got to make sure my overshields are active so I get the free damage boost. And as you see, it still hits really, really hard. Like, I've been hitting and seeing really big numbers even without the Incarnon active. I can actually hit my fucking shots. Jesus. There we go. But as you see, it's really not doing that bad at all. It hits really hard, does a lot of damage. But since, like I said, I am feeling quite ill, I will not be trying to go for the 10 minute Acolyte. So I will go ahead and start heading now to my Orbiter so I can give you all my final thoughts on the weapon. So overall, what do I think about the gun? I think Paris Prime overall is still a very good bow. As you saw from the damage numbers, it hits like a fucking truck. It hits really hard. It does a lot of damage and it's quite useful as a bow overall, especially when compared to the Dread, which is purely crit. This is what I would call a pure status build, which helps you a lot. Obviously, once again, you can easily replace that ribbon with Critical Delay. You can replace this one for Heat if you need to, or change it to whatever you need for your build. Obviously, if you can compare this to my Dread or my Rock to Cernos, the Dread is obviously more for Crit, more for Slash, while this one's more for Puncture, especially with the Charge Shot, you see the same thing. And if you compare it to the Rock to Cernos, the Rock to Cernos may be lower in stats, but you can take advantage of the... Uh, faction perk with it if i had Cernos prime Cernos prime does more damage than it, i believe because Cernos prime shoots multiple arrows because of its multi-shot obviously you can build the multi-shot to be quite high and take full advantage of galvanized chamber to make it keep going even higher and massage bow which is uh given to you from father 
After hitting a certain rank with him, you can buy it for 20,000 standing, and it's free healing from applying three statuses, which should not be hard, especially since you can apply all of these. And when you're in your Incarnon form, you apply three statuses innately, as long as you add another status to it. So, other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I do apologize for not uh, uploading this more consistently. I have gotten sick. And if y'all catch me on Twitch, you can see whenever I go live, because I have been playing a lot of Destiny 2 over there. We were doing the raid race. Sadly, we couldn't beat it. The fourth encounter was a pain in my ass. But I will see you guys in the next video, which will probably post when I don't sound like I'm dying. So, see y'all then. Peace out.